Welcome to Narasai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. Up to now, we did discuss about static variables as well as non-static variables. Especially, these two comes under what class level variables. Especially in this video, I am going to be highlighting what is a local variable. What is a, a local variable? Still, we have a little bit of concepts of memory locations and memory allocations and where exactly variables are memorized these type of issues I am not related to I am not talking related to what static variables and non static variables after completion of the local variable combinedly I am talking about memory areas of uh, variables at a time. Now what exactly local variable a variable which is which is not directly existed existed at class scope is called local variable is called local variable. So, what is the meaning of that basically here scope nothing but we sometimes we can call as what area sometimes we can call as context sometimes we may you are using the terminology like uh, body different based on situation we can use different types of terminologies. Now, observe here I am writing one class like A assume in the class A we have different uh, sub blocks class is the combination of identities and also variables nothing but we can also call as uh, properties as well as what uh, functionalities class is the combination of identities variables as well as what uh, functionalities maybe the functionalities most of the cases we are always uh, represent functional with the help of what here method concept and also among all those things we can add some other things also blocks here block is nothing but either static block or non static block what is static block and what is non static block we will see in coming videos of object oriented uh, programming systems and also we can write some other uh, blocks that is what uh, constructor that is also that is also we will discuss in the coming videos mainly within the class identities variables functionalities blocks and constructors we can write within the class itself we can write what are another classes within the class itself we can write what another classes with the class itself we can write another interface another interface within the class we can write another enum enum so within the class we can write uh, these many blocks or these many bodies but here i am not highlighting all these uh, in this particular scenario like uh, what is a uh, class which contains uh, one more class class which contains interface class which contains enum you know, these things we will discuss in the coming videos only now here my intention is only one thing how to represents local variable and observe here let me take same class like a within the class a if you declared any variable like a static int a equal to what triple one that is what your static data another one is int b equal to what triple two or one double two this is non static data and sometimes i am taking what here some non static block sometimes i am taking what uh, static block sometimes i am taking as an i am taking one constructor ok so sometimes i am taking one uh, method itself y d m one method so like this in the initial of initial stage of learning object oriented I am only concentrate on what these many points. Now, observe guys, what is the scope of this is entirely which one from this pointing to this one entirely this is comes under what uh, class uh, scope this is entirely comes under what class uh, scope under this scope we have 
different subscopes. One is the block, another one is static block, another one is the constructor, another one is the what here method. So, here I am declare here I am uh, given one statement a variable which is not directly existed not directly existed means what uh, within scope the variable is not directly existed in the sub blocks that is comes under what your class level variables. If the variable is existed within the sub blocks what is the meaning of that variable is not directly existed in the class block that is what your local variable. For example, within the block I am writing like int c equal to triple 3 within the static block I am writing int d equal to what triple 4 within the constructor I am writing int e within the constructor body I am writing like what here triple 5 within the method I am writing like what int g within the body of the method see like this the variables which we are writing the variables which we are writing within the non static block within the static block within the constructor and a parameter of a constructor and a parameter of a method and uh, within the body of a method within the body of a method all these variables technically we can call as what uh, local variables all these variables technically we can call as what uh, local variables. Now, here two variables I declared directly at which scope class scope directly in which scope class scope these variables we can call as what uh, class level variable. So, how to differentiate the local, local variable and class level variable a variable which is directly existed within the class scope open and curly braces that is called what uh, class level variables may be these are two types static and non static. The variable which is not directly exist in the class scope the variable which is existed sub block of the class may be sub block here nothing but what uh, non static static constructor and uh, method as a parameter uh, within the body of a method all these things we can call technically local variables local variables observe. Now, what is the main differences between static blocks non static blocks and local variables. If you are declaring a variable as a local that will be available only in that block. For example, int c equal to triple 3, int c equal to what triple 3. This variable is only only available from open statement of open curly braces of the block and ending curly braces of the block after its variable declaration it will be available before variable declaration not available and outside of the block is also not available that means the availability of the availability of local variable is only within the block only within the block but whatever the variables we declared at class level those variables are easily accessible either directly or by using class name or by using what reference we can access throughout the class we can access throughout the class for example assume within the class a i have a 100 methods from the 100 methods we can able to access what here static data and we can able to access what non static data by using if you are if it is a non static data we can use we can use directly and if it is a uh, static data also we can use directly already all this information how to communicating with the static data non static data every point i discussed in the previous videos so the main difference between class level variable and local variable is local variable is only available within that particular block whereas class level variable is available within the entire class scope maybe directly maybe class name maybe what here by using the reference variable this is what exactly the definition of what here local variable a variable which is existed 
the sub block of a class those variables uh, as a parameter or within the body of a, any block or constructor or method these variables we can call as what uh, local variables understand or not. So, I hope you enjoyed the definition of the local variables in the next video I am going to be develop program on local variables what type of modifiers can we write on top of the local variables what type of modifiers can we write on top of the class level variables and some little bit of programming concept also we are going to be learning in the coming videos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, small discussion in this video and for more videos uh, please subscribe to channel thank you.